Okay, it's gonna be a chatty one, ladies. It's gonna be a chatty one. <laughs> I'm filming, filming the intro after I filmed the video, so I already know it was chatty. So what triggered my idea for today's video was that I was getting ready to go to Bible study yesterday, and it was the last Bible study meeting before Thanksgiving, and one lady from my Bible study has like the gift of hospitality and she always puts this beautiful spread on our table for us and I appreciate her so much. So we had sort of like a little Friendsgiving Bible study and I wanted to do some fall makeup and so I was reaching for my Stila Kitten Shimmer and Glow Eyeshadow. I wanted to get ready fast because on Bible study mornings I'm always getting ready really fast. I have to be there. I have to leave my house by 8.30 and um, you know, I get up about 7.30 and then my son is still getting off to school and I have to make my coffee and get the dogs organized and so on. So um, I wanted it to be easy. So I was reaching for my Stila Shimmer and Glow in Kitten and I realized I was scraping the sides of the container and I thought, oh no, that will not do. I had enough for yesterday, but then I decided to go to Ulta afterwards and pick up a new one. And I've probably gone through six or seven of these over the years. It's a product that I absolutely don't like to live without. And it got me thinking of how many products I've used from the brand Stila that I absolutely love. And when I first started watching YouTube videos about eight years ago, nine years ago, everybody was talking about Stila, particularly the shimmer and glow, glitter and glow, or glisten and glow eye products. And they are still every bit as good as they were all those years ago, but because it's not the newest thing that all the cool kids are wearing, we don't talk about it a lot. But I have some amazing products from Stila that are favorites of mine that I go to all the time. And I thought that I would do a Stila favorites. And so not only am I gonna do a get ready with me, but I'm also gonna share with you my favorite products and tell you pros and cons and swatches and all that jazz. So intermingled with that is me just chatting about life. So it is a little bit long, but I hope you enjoy this video and I'm just going to jump in and get started. I already have my skincare on and my foundation on and then I have just a little bit of cherry chapstick. But other than that, I don't have anything else on my skin or on my face. And I'm going to start by using the Stila Heavenly Hue Highlighter and I have mine in the bronze shade. So it's actually a bronzer, not a highlighter. It does come in the infamous kitten shade and in another shade called incandescent which are both beautiful but I have mine in bronze and I use it as a bronzer and it does come in this pretty compact and it has a mirror in the lid and this is what the product looks like it's a cream product but it's like one of those squishy cream products. So as you can see, I left an indentation in it. And the weird thing is, is that will eventually kind of puff back out again. Um, it's just like a really kind of cool texture, not dusty because it's more of a cream and it's not like, um, I don't know, it's like a sheer cream, I suppose, is what I'm trying to describe. And this is what it looks like. And that looks like it might be kind of glowy all over your skin, but it's actually very, very flattering. Let me show you. So I just place this wherever I want to do a little bit of bronzing. And this time of year, I sometimes skip bronzing, but I do like to add some color to my face, especially around the holiday time. I just don't wanna look pale, pasty, or ill. So I do like to add a little bit of color onto my very pale complexion. And I'm just gonna use a stippling brush from Morphe, and I'm just gonna kind of buff this around. So I like to apply it, like I said, at the top of my forehead where I would sort of naturally get hit by the sun. And this is like a really nice bronzer because it's pretty natural. It doesn't really look like you've been out sun tanning. It's just adds like some really pretty glowy color to your face. And this was an Allure Best of Beauty winner in 2020. And I remember everybody talking about this when it first came out. Um, so yeah, check it out. Even if you're just looking for a highlighter, the kitten one looks so pretty. I am not going to pick it up. I have to just keep telling myself that I'm not going to pick it up. <laughs> 
Anyways, it's very tempting. Okay, for the next step, I did prime my eyelids using MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And you don't have to do this for the product that I'm using, but I do find that Painterly just makes the perfect canvas on my skin for whatever eyeshadow I apply over it to make the color look really, really true. So um, this is what it looks like. It's just that perfect kind of taupey skin shade and it looks like that. And I do have that just on my mobile. Okay, and now I'm gonna apply some eyeshadow and the color I'm choosing today is from Stila as well. And it's the Stila Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Kitten. I went and I picked up a new one. I love to have this on hand, especially during the holiday season. I find this to be the easiest way to get a really beautiful one-step eyeshadow look done and look really um, sparkly and glamorous for the season. And Kitten is my go-to, but I do have some other shades and I did swatch them on my hand. So this is Kitten right here. And I hope you can tell it's sort of like a champagne, a pinky rose gold champagne. It's a little more champagne than rose gold. It just has like a pale pink shift to it. And then another one from the Shimmer and Glow collection that I really love is Jezebel. And Jezebel was released as limited edition years ago, but you can still find this. And you can find it on the Stila website and you can find it, just Google it, Jezebel. It's really, really beautiful. And sometimes you can find it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I looked recently and I didn't see it there, but sometimes you can find Jezebel. And this is what Jezebel looks like. So it's got the same shimmer shift as Kitten being the Shimmer and Glow collection. So they are just very shimmery. And what I love about these is that once you apply them, they're pretty easy to get into place and I'll show you, but they dry down and they don't feel tight. So you know how some products, especially on those of us who are mature and have maybe a little bit of extra skin or crepey skin, this will not accentuate crepiness or kind of dry in a way that makes your skin pucker, if that makes sense, kind of pulling it and tightening on it. It doesn't do that. And so that's a priority for me. And also it dries down completely so it doesn't feel tacky and it never has any fallout. So those are some real pros about this product. I can't really think of any cons. There really isn't anything. Oh, I can think of something. So I have one here in the suede collection. So they did release a bunch of suede shades that are matte and they um, are not from the Shimmer and Glow collection. They're matte and they're from the Stila Suede Liquid Eyeshadow and I love these too. They're wonderful. But here's a con and this has happened to me a couple of times but usually after I've had the products for a long time. I'll show you. So this is what the applicator looks like. This is Jezebel, and this is what all the applicators look like. It's like a little sponge on the end of a stick. And that's pretty typical for a lot of products like these. And another thing I really like about them is that it does have an applicator because I have fingernails. And so when I use a product that I have to dip into a pot, like the Charlotte Tilbury pots that I love so much, I love the hourglass ones as well, I have to use a brush because otherwise I'll get a whole bunch of it kind of underneath my fingernail. So that's another pro is that it does come with an applicator, but that does also come with a con. So I have this chocolate shade suede and it's a matte and this is what it looks like look how beautiful that is but this is what happened to my applicator it fell off and it's in there <laughs> so it's in there and i can't fish it out but I still am able to kind of take a Q-tip and get some of the product out and then apply it and then use my finger. Um, again, I don't like that because of the nails, but um, that can happen. So you just have to be a little bit gentle with your spongy applicator, especially if you have a product like this sitting around for a couple of years, because it does take a year to get, a couple of years to get through an entire container of this if you don't use them every day or even once a week. I usually only use them during the holidays or a little bit in the summertime. I think the kitten is so beautiful in the summertime too for a really pretty bronzy look. 
but I love this. And then something else I want to mention before I forget is that you can find some of these shades in minis. And for a while, they made some that were... Um, Magnetic. I think I have a magnetic one for this one. Hold on. So for a while, Stila was selling these as a limited edition product. And I think I found this one at TJ Maxx. And it wasn't all that long ago, but I think they've been discontinued on the Stila site in their minis. And I love that because you get through them a little bit faster. And this is like gray fox and diamond dust and the lids are magnetic so these are really really nice so this gray shade is a like a suede a matte and then you just top it with a little bit of the glitter and glow which leads me to the next point that i wanted to mention but finishing up this point you can find them in the minis look on the stila website or anywhere where you can find stila products and you can find the mini ones and then I wanted to point out that and they do have a range of glisten and glow products and I do have one in the mini the glisten and glow are very similar to the shimmer and glow except that they are shade shifters and I have mine in kaleidoscope kitten so again it's one of the kitten shades but this one is called kaleidoscope and this is kaleidoscope kitten and i hope you can see so i've got kitten jezebel and kaleidoscope kitten it's really different than the um, shimmer and glow kitten and these are shade shifters and they come in some really bold shades as do the shimmer in glow. I do want to purchase some of the colorful ones just for the season. I think it would be a really fun thing to play around with this winter and holiday season. So this is Kaleidoscope Kitten and all the glisten and glow are shade shifters. So as the light hits them, they change in shade so that's something to keep in mind about the glisten and glow and then lastly there are the glitter and glow collection and of all the glitter and glow my favorite is diamond dust and i always have a diamond dust for like the past five years um, i'm running low on the one that is in the mini size so i have it in the full size for this season and these have the same exact applicator and I do already have it on here, but I'm going to apply a little more just to show you. This is what the glitter and glow look like. And I don't think you can see, but there are little pieces of glitter within the formula. And you might think, oh, that's horrible. You wear contact lenses or you just don't like anything glittery near your eyes. Um, this is different because a lot of times when you use a glittery product, you have to use like a glitter glue that's made for your eyes. But with this, you do not. It's in a formula that doesn't allow the glitter to like fall out. So it doesn't have fallout. And I really love that. So you can get the look of a glitter and look how beautiful that is. It's so beautiful and brightening. That is the glitter and glow. So I think I've gone through the different formulas with you. And so now I'm going to do a very simple eye look and I'm going to go with my go-to kitten. And this is the shimmer and glow. And I'm going to use the applicator. And what I like to do is just start applying it close to my lash line. And I go into the inner corner. I go into the outer corner. And I go up. You can even use a couple of different shades. I've never done that except if I was using like the suede shade with the with the topper. That's the only time I've combined them. But I might fool around with them this winter. Like I told you, get some more colorful shades. And these are not overly wet or smudgy. They kind of dry down nicely, but they don't dry down so quickly that you don't have time to work with them. So um, I just really like to apply this all over like that. So I had mentioned a few months ago to you guys, I thought I needed to get some blood work done because, you know, after I went through my little ordeal with an anxiety spell that I had, some panic attacks, 
um, I thought I needed to get my blood work checked and I did and everything came back normal except my B12 is really low. So I'm taking a B12 supplement. Um, I wrote down my iron came back really low and my ferritin came back low, which is my stored iron. So now I'm taking an iron supplement and I'm also taking a magnesium supplement. And those are the only supplements. Oh, and I think you all know that I take K2 and D3. K2, I could talk about forever because I think everybody should take it. What it does is it helps facilitate calcium to get into your bones where it's needed instead of you know just floating around in your bloodstream and it makes your teeth whiter it helps you from like losing your bones you know like osteoporosis but if you have osteoporosis you obviously need to get treated for that but this also helps and I think it helps so that you don't get like a lot of volume loss in your face due to bone loss as you age so I always take K2 and D3. And if you want to know more about that, I could just touch on it a little bit more, but it's something I've been taking for 10 years and I think it's really, really helped. So that's what's up with my lab work. Everything else came back fine. And I'm really happy about that because I was curious about my thyroid. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't having any thyroid issues. It doesn't run in my family, but I always think it's good to check because as you get older, your metabolism does slow down just naturally. But I wanted to make sure that I didn't have anything going on that's potentially fixable, you know what I mean? Because if you have hypothyroid, for example, and you're putting on weight, um, it's kind of like a losing battle because it needs to be treated. Otherwise, you will continue to put on weight as opposed to like just normal kind of slowing down. And for me, I think that has a lot to do with me not being as active as I once was. I used to be super active like most moms when their kids are little. And now that my kids are older, I don't find myself running around as much. I love that I have dogs because that helps. But um, okay, anyway, let me let me just keep doing my makeup as I chat with you. Oh, there are a couple of eyeliners that I absolutely love from Stila, and Stila has released this particular eyeliner in different shades, which is so cool. I want to get a couple of them, but this is black and black. And so on one end, you have a micro tip, and it's a very, very fine tip. This is my HG favorite higher end eyeliner and then you have on the other end the original tip and it's a felt tip and it's very fine and you can get a really nice line with this um the new ones that Stila has released are the ones that are like maybe like burgundy on one end and amber on the other and i did notice there's one that's got like a jade green and i think it's I can't remember what is on the other side. And then there's a blue one. Oh, and they have a white one. Have you guys been following that trend at all with white eyeliner? I think it looks pretty cool. Have any of you tried that using like white eyeliner for your upper eyeliner? I have used nude eyeliner in my lower waterline to kind of brighten up my eyes, but this new white eyeliner trend I think is pretty cool. And then I have the Stila smudge sticks, and these are my favorite smudgy retractable eyeliners. I like these for several different reasons. I like them because they are retractable and so you don't need to sharpen them. I like that they're waterproof and I like that they're smudgy. They're called smudge sticks and they will last and last all day long in your waterline or your um, if you tight line. And I love these and they come in a lot of really fun shades. There are some cool boxed sets that are out right now for the holiday season. And I am going to, this one's called Labradite and it's like, um, a gray. It's like a charcoal gray. See, it's not quite black. And I really like that one. And then I love this one. It's a damsel and it's kind of like a burgundy brown. And I hope you can see that. It's really pretty. I'm going to use damsel and I'm going to do my tight line. And I just get as close as I can to my lashes and it's so pretty with the kitten or the kaleidoscope kitten or Jezebel because it really complements the sort of rose gold look to those products. Something I've been enjoying lately is taking my tiny kaleidoscope kitten 
and it's just like I showed you slightly different than the shimmer and glow kitten there and I like to use this one to kind of just run along my lower lash line it's really pretty now I'm going to take the damsel and I'm going to do a little bit of a wing And that looks a little bit messy, but I'm gonna smudge it. And I just like to take like a pencil brush and then smudge that along my upper lash line. And I didn't want to use my liquid eyeliner because that is so beautiful, but it's a little more intense. And the mascara that I'm gonna be using today is already a little bit intense, I'll show you. So anyways, I'm thinking about joining, um, not a gym, but like a workout center, like Pure Bar. Do you have Pure Bar where you live? It's like a um, bar workout. So it's sort of like, I guess I think of it as like Pilates where you're doing a lot of short bursts of muscle contractions and it's not high impact where you're bouncing around like in Zumba or anything like that, even though that's fun. I feel like I need to protect my bones as much as I can. I don't have osteoporosis, but I still don't wanna do like a lot of jumping around at my age. So um, I'm thinking about looking into Pure Bar. I am gonna sign up to take a free class and see what I think of it and I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, now I'm gonna take a little diamond dust and I'm gonna hit my inner corner with that. And this one has like the little bit of glitter, like I told you about. So it's going to look like there's some glitter, but it isn't fallout. It's in this, I don't know, this fluid that's in here. So it doesn't have fallout. I'm going to put a little of this into the center of my mobile lid just to add a little something extra special. Just a little bit. You can always build it up more and more if you want to. These are very easy to build upon themselves and I think they're just really easy to work with in my opinion. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the mascara and this mascara is amazing. It is called Huge and the name says it all. And I'm so happy that I tried this because I've been looking for a mascara that is huge since Bite Beauty went under. And Monsieur Big from Lancome was close, but not the same. This has like just enough waxiness to it that it's not wet, but not so much that it's a dry formula. It's like just the perfect consistency and it doesn't flake and it doesn't smudge. When I was reading about it online, it said that it has sort of like a film, which makes me think of like a tubing mascara, but it's not really a tubing mascara, but it also doesn't smudge at all and I do have like oily eye area and all of these products work so great with my overly oil producing skin around my eyes so um I just wanted to make sure I pointed that out to you and it has a natural bristle brush that is like slightly like an hourglass it's kind of like a twisted almost kind of like a figure eight and watch this is an amazing mascara and if it doesn't dry out in the tube before the whole tube is gone, like if it behaves itself the whole time I have it, this will be my new favorite mascara. And I'm afraid to say that because once you say that, the brand starts making plans to discontinue it. It's so easy to work with. And so I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna do the other eye and I'll go back and show you how it builds up upon itself. But this is just one, one light coat. Okay, let me show you one more quick coat. It has that really pseudo false lash effect that is so pretty. And it leaves my lashes feeling kind of fluffy, which I like. Like they don't feel super hard or they don't look spidery. They just like look fluffy. And that's the look I love. Okay, the next product I really love as well. And I wanted to point out that these liquid lippies from Stila are often included in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. So that's usually when I pick them up, but also are the, the smudge sticks as well. So watch for these when the, um, I think they're the best sellers from Stila. And so when Ulta has its 21 Days of Beauty sale, you can often 
stack up on them and they're, I think they're like $11. And so I love these liquid lippies from Stila. They're the long wearing liquid lippies and they're not overly matte, which is what I love about them. And so this one right here is called Patina and that's what it looks like. It's sort of like your lavender, kind of bluey pink. It's really pretty. And then the next one is called Promessa and it's just like this beautiful pink and it looks like this. And then this one is called Patricia. And it's like your corally sort of orangey pink. And some of them come in like a shimmery, like I think this one, Patricia, is a shimmer shade. And yes, it's Patricia Shimmer. And then the other two are just the regular Patina and Promessa, but I think they also come in a shimmer formula. The shimmer formula isn't overly shimmery. I'm going to use Patricia, the shimmer formula, and let you see, but this is one of my favorites. And I think next time I get Promessa, I will get it in the shimmer. This one is just such a pretty shade for in the summertime and also after the holidays. I don't know, anytime you want a really pretty pink, it's just perfect. And they last and last. So let me show you. I don't use a liner or anything. I don't think I need to with these. I mean, if you wanted a contrast in the shade, then I would suggest using one, but I don't feel the need to. If they stay within my lip lines, and they dry down, but they still have like a slight slip to them. And once they're dried down, they don't go anywhere. And you can leave it just as it is, like this. Or you can top it with a little, little bit of lip gloss. And this is just a MAC lip gloss. And I'm just going to put a little bit right in the center. I just realized I went through all that and I forgot to put my blush on. So I'm gonna add my blush. And before I had a YouTube channel, my favorite blushes in a cream formula are from Stila. And these are still among my favorites. And you just forget about things if people don't talk about them. So that's why I think it's good to talk about old favorites because the brand still exists, the products still exist, and they're still every bit as good as they were the first time I used them. And I have Peony and Ilium. And Peony was my favorite for a really, really long time. And these are lip and cheek, cheek colors, but I only use them as cheek. So this is what Peony looks like. That's really pretty. And then Ilium is like a rosy shade. And these also have like a mirror in the lid. These are really compact and easy to bring along with you. They, they're pretty, um, like they're pretty flat. Um, and this is what this one looks like. And it's so pretty. And you can build up, build it up, but they're so easy to spread around and they don't accentuate fine lines and wrinkles. You know how like when we smile and we get those little fine lines and wrinkles here, it doesn't accentuate that. And these aren't available in the store anymore, but at least not at my Ulta, but they are available on the website and lots of other places. And this is the stick product. And this is sheer Gerbera, and this was my favorite over the summer. I used this so much. Look how beautiful that is. And then you just spread it out, and it, of course, it's sheer, but it gives you that just beautiful, sheer, pretty flush. And so I think I'm going to use a convertible color today, and I think I'm going to go with the rosy toned one since it's fall and I don't want to go with anything too bright. So I think I'm going to use Peony, my old favorite. I've purchased more of these, probably four or five of them over the years, and I just picked up a new one because my old one was basically all gone. It was pretty gross. What was left of it, I didn't want to put on my skin. It looked like it had like some crumbs in it, and I was just like, no, I need to get a new one. So I did get a nice new one. And I'll show you how I do it, the same way I do every other cream blush. But this really does feel luxurious to me. And the price point isn't like luxury, it's more mid-range. You know, like if you go with like Dior or YSL or even Lancome lately, the prices have been going up and up and up. And I haven't noticed the Stila prices going up. 
And so I love this product and you don't have to worry about it disappearing or getting soaked into your skin and disappearing. A little bit up at the top to make it look like I have a little bit of sun on my skin, why not? And you can set that if you want to, but I prefer to kind of leave it a little bit dewy. And like I said, it doesn't smear around or go anywhere. Once it kind of sets on your skin, it's like kind of moisturizing. I think it feels really nice. Um, and then there's one other product that I wanted to mention to you because it's a favorite of mine. And it is, of course, also from Stila. And it is so luxurious. It's like this one little compact and it's an individual eyeshadow. It has a mirror in the top, so it's just like a little bit luxurious, and it would make a great stocking stuffer or a gift for a girlfriend or just to make someone feel thought about, and I think that this is a really pretty multi-use product, and I'll show you what I mean. So this is what it looks like, and surprise, surprise, it's called Kitten, <laughs> and it doesn't look like the kitten. It's like, it definitely looks like you know, just a really beautiful highlighter. And this is considered an eyeshadow, but I'll show you what I like to use it for. So since my blush doesn't have like a shimmer to it, I just like to tap this just around a little bit. And then also in the arch of my brow. And that's what I use it for. And then the other thing that I like to do, and I've, I've done this in a video before, and if you'd like to see a super easy eye look again, I'd be happy to show you. But what it is, is I use this all over my mobile lid. And then I go in with the fine tip of the eyeliner. And this is where the colorful ones would really come in handy, the green or the blue or what other, I think a burgundy one. I think they also have a burgundy one. Um, and then just line your eyes. And that is like perfect holiday, New Year's makeup. Just so simple and pretty. And even though you saw how glowy it is, which it is, I'm not gonna downplay that. I don't think I can. But let me find some space. If you put it on your lid and you just kind of build it up and put that on your mobile lid, it's just going to have like a really pretty reflection and it's not going to look like the Tin Man or anything like that. It's just going to look really soft and pretty. And sometimes I like to take another like soft brown eyeshadow and put that in the crease, a little bit of this on the lid, some pretty black winged eyeliner, and you are good to go. It's so beautiful. Oh, those are all my favorites from Stila. There's very few products I've tried from Stila that I didn't like. One I can think of, and I don't even know if they still make it. It's actually a newer release, and it was their balm kind of um, foundation product and I know a lot of women especially women with dry skin loved it but since I have more of an oily skin I didn't like the way that felt on my skin so that was like one product that I wouldn't repurchase for myself but out of all the other products I've tried there's very few that I wouldn't go back to and I definitely would like to try more of the eyeliners I'd like to try a white eyeliner and I'd really like to try some more colorful liquid eyeshadows. So I'm going to bring you in close just to let you see the finished look. Easy Glam on the go, my favorites from Stila. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know down in the comment section. Let me know if you have a favorite product from Stila. And um, yeah, thank you so much for spending some time with me. And I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. I'll see you next time.